Welcome to this short introduction to Nighttune, one of five tools in the Nightstar suite of development tools. Nighttune is a system-wide tuner which provides visibility and a certain amount of control over many system parameters. Nighttune is very configurable, allowing the user to create additional pages where he and she may monitor various system resources or parameters. On this tab, you can see I have three separate areas, process list, CPU shielding and binding, and CPU usage, any of which can be modified in size or location or drug and dropped on top of one another to create a tabulated list. Very configurable. Make the tool look the way you want it to look. In the process area, I can look for specific processes or threads. Here, I'm going to look for my process, WD. There it is, showing me all my named threads. I have the ability to right-click on any individual thread and see its scheduling details, where I can simply see or modify all scheduling parameters and CPU affinity. Process details, memory usage, open file descriptors, signals, capabilities it's using, the environment in which it's running, etc. In the CPU shielding and binding section, I'm seeing the current state of shielding of my eight virtual cores. You can see I have one chip, I have four physical cores, and with hyperthreading, eight virtual cores. By simply right-clicking, and getting the change shielding dialog, I can choose, say, to shield CPU1 from everything using this icon. So with that one click, I've shielded from processes, local timer interrupts, interrupts in general, and marked down the uh, hyper-threaded sibling. If I now wish, I can take one of my threads running on a different processor, say thread sibling B, and drag it onto that shielded core. By doing an expand all, I should be able to see uh, what processes have been bound to what CPUs. And we can see that uh, three of my threads here are now running on, on core one. Other tabs available, uh, interrupts, system interrupts. I can see uh, where various uh, interrupts are firing, which CPUs are handling them, uh, at what rate. Uh, you can see that I've bound a a particular interrupt to a particular core using this dialog by simply clicking on an I, a particular IRQ and saying set CPU affinity. I can see that I've uh, changed where this uh, interrupt is being handled. For instance, I can take it off of CPU1 and put it on CPU2, and now that interrupt is being handled by core 2. Various other looks into the system, disk activity, network activity, various looks into memory. Two new abilities, single process activity, where I can uh, point this at a particular process or a particular thread and get basically a profile of how it's spending its time. And a single process, uh, process counter page, where I can monitor things for a particular process or thread, like cache hits, cache misses. Uh, and other system parameters. Nighttune, a window into your Linux computer.